Lawyer claims photo proves Roy Moore's guilt, viewers shocked when they look closer. Former Alabama State Judge Roy Moore is currently under attack. A few women have accused him of sexual misconduct after he began seeking election to the Senate. In fact, the parasitic lawyer representing these women has just issued proof of the man's guilt, but a few keen eyes have recently pointed out what's seen when you look a little closer at the photo and it's left a great many viewers downright shocked. Lawyer Gloria Howard always seems to be in the center of the most controversial cases, but she's delving into a new world recently since politics is where publicity seems to live these days. Usually, she represents high-profile clients and Hollywood A-listers, but that may be a thing of the past. Most recently, the attorney has taken to representing women accusing well-known politicians of sexual misconduct. At first, she represented a woman who accused Donald Trump of wrongdoing. However, seeing how that turned out to be a big old nothing burger, she's decided to try her luck again. This time, she's taken on the case of Beverly Young Nelson, who has most recently accused Judge Roy Moore of attempted rape over 30 years ago. Of course, she never felt the need to come out about it, but seeing how the man is running for a seat in the Senate, not too many people believe the timing to be a coincidence. What's more, Howard's other client also happened to make accusations when the man she accused was running for political office. So, it comes as no surprise that several people have speculated that this is nothing more than a leftist hit job, and it's actually starting to look like that may be the case. Come to find out, Howard has released some proof of Moore's misdeeds, but it's already turned around to slap her square in the face. As can be seen, the lawyer offered up Nelson's yearbook in an attempt to prove that Nelson and Moore knew each other, but there's just one big problem. According to the Twitter account of journalist and author Thomas Wichter, who took a closer look at the photo of the evidence, the so-called proof is a forgery. Just look at the numbers and letters below his signature, they don't match other parts of his alleged yearbook message The Sevens in 1977 to the right of Christmas, are very different from The Sevens in the date. December 22, 1977, above Old Hickory House. Look at the two versions of the number 7, tweeted Wichter. December 22, 1977 and Oldie Hickory House were written by a different person, he added. Next, Wichter points out the R and Y and Roy, are not written the same way. The inflection of the Y is more pronounced and more signature as Chief Justice. The R is noticeably longer in the signature of Chief Justice, as well even worse yet, others have pointed out that Moore's supposed signature lists him as a DA back in 1977, when the yearbook was signed. However, he wasn't a DA until 1992, a whopping 15 years later. Making matters worse, Nelson keeps saying that Moore was the district attorney as well, casting doubt on her claims. The longer this plays out, the more it's starting to look as though this was truly a hit job, but it's not working. For one, Moore's approval ratings have remained the same throughout this entire ordeal. Even better yet, it looks like the only real evidence that people can offer may soon come from Moore's camp. As it turns out, Moore's wife of 30 years, Kayla Moore, states that they are now gathering evidence that proves the accusers are being paid to speak out against her husband. Can you imagine the implications if this were true? I mean, that would be all the proof you need to render these claims irrelevant as monetary motivation can make anyone do or say anything. Although this case is starting to heat up, it's not in the way that the left was hoping. In the end, I have a feeling we're going to see yet another instance of leftist corruption using lies and deceit to trick the American people. Too bad for them, the evidence seems to be mounting against them. And hopefully, this time someone is actually held responsible for the unjust damage they were responsible for causing.